Hello and good morning, Aid Mubarak to our fellow uh, Muslim brothers and welcome to the third episode of Business Book Day where we give you uh, 10 concepts or takeaway from a particular book and this episode we're featuring This is Marketing, You Can't Be Seen Until You Learn to See by Seth Godin, one of the uh more prominent uh marketing guru of our time and of course before that i'd like to say hi to boss arjun shroff hi summer and to all uh, of the viewers right now thank you for joining me in this third episode and of course uh let's start uh slide please again uh 10 key takeaways from this is marketing by set go this is the best selling book and at the same time um uh, if you're new to marketing or if you're um, um, a, a lover of marketing concepts, this book will give you a deeper philosophical uh, uh, appreciation of marketing. You know? uh, it combines science, but for me, it's more of like listening to Seth Godin. It's like uh, listening uh, to the art of marketing. So, hello, Setiadi. Thank you for listening. Yes, uh, oh, thank you for our pares na book. No? Talagang uh, ginawa ko yun. Hi, Ria. Thank you. So, next slide, please. Ayan. So, ang first uh, concept na uh, I learned from this uh, book of Seth Godin is marketing is the act of making change happen. Meaning, uh, as a marketer or as an entrepreneur, um, you wanted to create... Um, change a positive change hi i'm ray thank you uh, you wanted to create a positive change to the society through your products and services it's not about money Para sa akin, because of this book uh hi sir hi cesar uh because of this uh book yung appreciation mo sa marketing mas lalong lumalim, no? we create products and services that will create positive change to our society not just to earn a profit because that is just a reward for making a positive change in this world and that is marketing for you next slide please and right now right now as i speak uh the change that we wanted to our fellow marketers who are in the line of medicines and medicine and science is make the world safe again no i hate wearing masks and i rather i love seeing people smile say i am a funny guy 
uh, I wanted to see the smile of my uh, the people that I uh, talk to. So yun yung ano eh, no? yun yung uh, namimiss ko because of this situation. And I, I, I'm challenging the marketers of the medical world, the, science, uh, the scientific world to make the world safe again so that we can again enjoy uh, being together with each other and laughing together, no? Closer, being closer again. Next slide, please. Of course, and having said that, the best way to complain is to make things better. Diba? And that is uh, uh, the onus of a marketer. No, the burden of a marketer is when you complain, it's up to you to provide the solution because you can feel that pain, uh, you can feel that problem, then it's up to you to provide the solution to the society. Lalo na if that complaint is shared by a bigger number of people. So again, this is a uh, this is a progressive, proactive learning from set. So the best way to complain is to make things better. Yes, thank you, Arjun, for that smiley. Next slide, please. So number two that I've learned from this uh, this is marketing of set golden is marketing is a generous act of helping someone solve a problem, their problem. It may be an antithesis to what I earlier mentioned, but uh, it means that if you're a marketer, you don't create products and services uh, whimsically. Ibig sabihin yung gusto mo lang mag-create ng product, no? Because gusto mo siya, trip mo siya. It's not that, no? It's about creating or a generous act of helping someone solve their problem. Their problem, no? So, uh, oftentimes, as, an, as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, or even large companies, they create products because, you know, uh, the owner suddenly thought that it, it will be a great idea. If you're starting on that uh, uh, starting point, no, now you wanted to create a product for the sake of creating, then that is the wrong way to start. It must be that you wanted to help someone solve a problem. And that someone that I'm talking about is a, a bigger cluster of number of people who shared that uh, same problem. Okay, again, that is uh, this one is liberating for me. It's it changed or it deepens my appreciation uh, with marketing. That I have to find solutions in solving the problem of a, a particular set of people. Okay, next slide, please. Sabi ni Summer, nawawala ba ako? Am I, I hope not. <laughs> I hope okay na, Summer. And uh, a case in point is grab and angkas. For me, in the Philippines, uh, uh, a generous way of solving the problem of our, uh, you know, our commuters, no? Because during those earlier times, long time ago, we have taxi, no? private taxi who don't offer convenience because their aircon are not working or uh, second, it's not safe. Uh, uh, it, it becomes a source of holdups and robbery. And third, during traffic hours, no, peak time, a lot of abuses take place. They charge us a higher fare. And this two, uh, tool helped majority of people solve their problem to experience convenience, safety, and end the abuse of our uh, private taxi driver. Next slide, please. So number three, uh, market driven versus marketing driven versus market driven. Anong difference ng dalawa? Marketing driven is that you're using the tools of marketing like uh, promotion, uh, lalo yung promotion, no? you're using uh, Facebook, um, PR, events, any type of a, a promotion tool to push your products, even if those products will not help uh, or give value to your target market or to your clients or customers. That is marketing-driven, no? using the concept of marketing to push forward your product. However, versus market-driven, market-driven is that you're providing a solution to a problem that's market driven you're understanding the needs of your customers and you have to distinguish 
the two. And if you're if you are asked to choose between the two, it's supposed to be market driven. It should be ano yung gusto mo, ano yung gusto ng customer mo. Sabi nga, go where your market wants you to go. Okay, follow your market. Next slide, please. Hi, Trev. Thank you for listening. And because of that, ito yung sample, no? If you're marketing driven, yung marketing for the sake of marketing and using the, your knowledge to market lang, ang daming product wastage and glut ng product. And it puts a strain to our environment. Ang daming trash, ang daming unnecessary products and services na nakikreate na wala namang value sa society. So that is so wrong if you're marketing driven. Then Seth Godin highly recommend that we should be market driven. Understand our customers. Go where your market wants you to go. For example, uh, I'm used to giving um, uh, talks like this physically, but I cannot do that. So I'm uh, making myself av available to this platform, webinars, or online because we are all in here gathering in this digital space and that's where the market is. So I'm, I'm here. Okay, next slide, please. Thank you, Jay. Salamat sa comment na yan. It makes me uh, motivated and inspired to continue this uh, thing that I'm doing. Uh, yo, sulit yung pagkupuyat. Sulit yung, sulit yung pagkupuyat to understand and to review. But you know, I'm not working actually because I love reading books. And that's why I love reading business books and applying the concepts to my current businesses and sharing it to other people so that you no know, sharing is caring and the more you share the more you go and again sabi ni said golden being market driven last if you want to last hi grace if you want to last in your um, uh, industry or to to uh, into to outlast your competition be market driven always listening to your uh, Customers or client. Kasi yun yung, yun yung magbibigay sa'yo ng sustenance. They will, if they support your uh, products and services because you're offering the solutions to their problems, then you will last. Next slide, please. Again, thank you to all the listeners. I appreciate that. Number four, begin by choosing people based on what they dream of, believe, and want, not based on what they look like. Yan yung sinasabi ko. Because there is a scientific explanation in marketing to this concept. But si Seth Godin uh, was able to philosophize, no? Hi, Cora. Hi, Miss Cora. To philosophize on the concepts of marketing. Ito yung napakaganda, no? Begin by choosing people based on what they dream of, believe, and what not based on what they look like. It means, next slide, please. It means using psychographics instead of demographics. Ah? Hi, RT. Thank you for listening. Hi, Miss Kati. So, ibig sabihin nun, di ba, as a marketer, ang basic, lalo na pag nasa college ka, syempre, wala ka namang resources. What we recommend is demographics. Ano yung kanyang gender, uh, geographic location, tiga saan siya. Yun na yun, di ba? But it's like, um, hindi siya physical ano lang, attributes lang ng tao. Ilang tao na siya. Ano yung income niya? Parang uh, hindi yun yung nire-recommend. And actually, uh, as I see it, a lot of marketers right now are really using psychographics. Kaya nga, next slide please. Kaya nga, si Aker, noong 1997, nag-create siya ng brand personality framework. Ito magandang framework to for those products and services who wanted to create a product based on brand persona or brand personality to identify the psychographics of a particular uh target market or client that you chose no so uh meron siyang lima no na it embodies a lot of uh different uh characters also sincerity excitement competence sophistication ruggedness so ito yung um na recommend na framework ni acre so if you're creating a, a business or a product uh you can use this brand personality if you are able to identify your uh, the psychographics of your target market. Thank you. Ayan, lalo si Trev from Cable yan. Siyempre, B2B si Trev. Uh, magaling yan sa relationship. He knows how what's the mindset of the owners or yung mga content creators na kasi they, he buys content from other uh, producers. 
so he can push it to their cable business. Okay, so yung, ano yung psychographics ng mga business owner or ng mga content creator na yan? Thank you, Martin. And of course, this is the example of brand, the brand, ito yung mga brands na, next slide please, to show you, ito yung example ng brand personality framework, no? For sincerity, you have Disney, of course, Hallmark, Amazon, I, I don't know Amazon right now, but Cadbury, then Excitement, Tesla, of course, Red Bull, I'm a fan of Red Bull, lalo na yung uh, highest jump na ad nila, no? Na pinatalo niyo yung isang stuntman from outside the atmosphere of Earth. That is excitement. Of course, Nike, lalo yung recent ad nila, na nilabas, it's, a, it's an inspiring ad by Nike. So, again, if you're creating a product, identify the brand persona of your target market and then choose from this brand personality framework para mag-align siya, okay? Next slide, please. Hi, Aris. Thank you. <laughs> of course, Aris is uh, a friend of mine and a vice president of one of the big uh, pharmaceutical companies. Thank you, Aris, for listening, pare. Thank you. Next, choose the people you serve. Choose your future. Ito yung... Um, if you're starting a business, pagbago pa lang, gusto mo lahat ng tao paglingkuran mo. Which is so wrong. It's spreading yourself too thin and it uh, drowns you from the noise around you because your customer cannot identify who you are. That's why stick to a particular segment or stick to a particular industry. And in that industry, marami pa yan, you can choose a particular segment. Ito yung segmentation, you know? pero napalalim nga ni Seth Godin into a philosophy, no? Choose the people you serve. Choose your future. Like, kung nyari, si Boss Arjun Shrop is a travel and tour company, a well-known travel and tour company. Ando na siya, eh. And he knows his, the people that he choose to serve. And that's why he's one of the longest-running travel and tour uh, operators in our country, which I miss. Hi, Dennis. Thank you for watching. Uh, of course, Dennis is another entrepreneur. Thank you, Dennis. Uh, next slide, please. I'm Amnida from Subic. So, di ba, na-philosophize ni, na ni Seth Godin. And ano lang naman yun, you know, target market. Di ba? Choose the people that you serve. Choose the industry that you serve. That's the reason why marketing is effective, no? It allows you to zero in to a particular target market or person na marami sila na then you can serve them because ikaw lang yung taong who choose to serve them and that's the only way to uh, sustain your business in the longer run okay next slide please so set go din sa term ng marketer it's target market or niche so set go go din calls calls it smallest viable market which is the more appropriate term right Smallest viable market. It can be that small, like for example, I met someone who sells uh, uh, an, uh, a charter plane and a yacht. E, ilan lang naman yung kaya bumili nun, di ba? It, but it's a viable market. Uh, they can, kung mga 1% lang ang population, it's a viable market. How about you? Sino, have you already chosen that smallest viable market that you wanted to serve? It's something to think about. Next slide, please. So an example for me of the smallest viable market is Curves. Curves address the need of women who don't want to travel that far. It's a community gym in the U.S. Uh, uh, to women who want, do not, don't want to, be, to go to uh, a, a general gym where there are also male doing their gym because they feel harassed. Para if they're there, para tinitignan sila ng mga guys and they feel harassed. And also, if you notice sa mga Curves gym, it's circular form because uh, the owner of Curve found out that uh, women loves to talk while they're, you know, uh, doing their workout. So Curves was able to create a dent in the fitness industry by serving a particular smaller viable market, which is the women who in the community who wants to get fit, who wants to get back to their physical, their former self na fit, no? But they have some challenges because nga yung ko, they feel harassed sa general gym. Pangalawa, it's too far from their community. Third, they want to socialize. They don't just 
work out for the sake of working out. They wanted to, you know, exchange stories with each other. Next slide, please. Six is effective marketers don't begin with the solution. We begin with a group we seek to serve, a problem they seek to solve. So again, if you're starting a business of, or if you're trying again to create a new product or service because of the current situation that we are in, begin with this number six concept. Who is the group that you seek to serve? Who is your target market? Second, what are their current problems? And on that two particular areas, it's time to create a solution. And then again, it's like asking them, ito ba yung kailangan mo? It's a trial and error. That's how marketing is. But the thing is, you're starting at the right starting line, di ba? At the right starting point. That is, you know who are yours, who are the people that you're serving, and you know that you're trying to solve a particular problem that they have. So next slide, please. So right now, social distancing, that is a, a, a general problem of ours. And so next slide, please. You have Zoom, Viber, and then late, the late comer, Google Meet a former Google Hangout trying to provide that solution. Now, although it's a mass market, but it, try, it is trying to provide that solution because of the social di distancing that we are implementing. Next slide, please. Again, thank you. I'm so happy. Sabi nga niya, long weekend ngayon, pero di ba, tagal na natin nag holiday Okay. Seven, when you know what you stand for, you don't need to compete. This is, uh, it's like if you're a marketer, it's like you're used to the three C's of Kinichi Ume, di ba? the strategic three C's, which means customer, company, competition. You're used to that. Pero ito, napakalalim itong philosophy na to na sinabi ni Seth Godin sa, sa book niya. No? When you know what you stand for, you don't need to compete. And for me, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to still digest it, but I have some cases like, for example, next slide, please. Starbucks. You know, uh, if you know where you stand for, you don't need to compete. And Starbucks, although it has competition, for me, it is not competing with other coffee shops in a sense because it knows where it stands for. It stands for providing the third place. Yun yung kanyang battle cry, no? To provide that third place. Why third place? Because the first place is our home, the second place is our workplace, and Starbucks aim to provide or aims to provide the third place, you no, know, where you can chillax. Sabi nga nila, uh, you can use it before you go back to your home. Dati yun na in the post in the pre uh, pandemic uh, or pre COVID days. That's what Starbucks aims to. Right now, it's I I believe it's trying to calibrate. All our best, all the businesses are trying to calibrate, looking for the problems that this situation created and trying to provide a solution. I'm excited to see what will they do in the near future. Next slide, please. Of course, to go, ang solution niya is to have a roaster, di ba? Because the owner wanted to uh, avoid the messy, yung, you know, yung charcoal, tapos, uh, daming smoke. Diba talaga messy yung environment ng other, the way we do lichon manok in our country. And Chooks to go provided uh, a very clean way of, you know, uh, presenting a lichon manok. And that's why it resonated to our, to a particular segment of market, of the market. And yun, they were able to get a portion of that market na who are buyers of lichon manok. And of course, they tag it na masarap kahit walang sauce. Besides the uh, eliminating the messiness that the traditional uh, uh, store, how Lichon Manok is cooked, they also offered another tagline that even without the sauce, it is delicious. So, I mean, those are things that, um, you know, they know where they stand for. We will offer this one. And they were able to create uh, um, a need they will they were able to satisfy a need sa mga sa 
Lichon Manok buyers, no? And ayan, ma- marami ng li- branches ng chooks to go all over the country. And of course, I'm one of them na who from time to time buys chooks to go. Next slide, please. Eight innovative marketers invent new solutions that work with old emotions. We are not uh, a rational being. We are an emotional being. And alam yan ang mga marketers. And doon sa mga first-timer, of course, we buy sometimes because of our impulse. And most of that, actually, sometimes, most of the time, we buy using our impulse. No, We don't know why we bought it. But during that moment, there is an emotional connection, which is an old emotion na we have. That's why we purchased that particular product. Okay? So innovative marketers, we innovate products and services, sabi nga, but we still uh, use it, those products, to uh, connect with those old emotions like love, respect, strength, you know, safety. Those are old emotions. Wala namang uh, bago emotions ang humanity, no? Kumbaga, lahat ng emotions are the same. It's just that the marketers try to create new products to cater to those old emotions. Next slide, please. So for me, um, Under Armour began in 1996. Uh, the owner is an NFL player, no? So meron siyang uh, uh, parang uh, yung kanyang clothing line uh, is able to, um, you know, uh, yung sweat is, is parang prevents it from uh, being absorbed by the cloth. No, 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 damit. So, a lot of NFL players na pinagbigay niya, nagustuhan yun. And parang ano rin ito, story ni Nike, no? Nasa car siya, tapos from town to town, ina-offer niya yung product niya. And he was able to create, to solve a problem na nanaranasan ng mga athletes, no? That is, uh, we're soaked with sweat because of our, uh, the clothes that we use. And we don't, we hate that. And so, Other Armor was able to, uh, to provide a solution, uh, parang parang dry fit ng Nike, no? Na, so hanggang ngayon, nagpalo lang yung mga other sports companies sa uh, technology ni Under Armour. And syempre, ang isang uh, big acquisition niya is si Step Curry. But you see this ad, you are the sum of all your training. It's Under Armour or other companies, sports products, or sports companies for that matter don't sell the the features of their uh, technology or innovation. They sell the emotion. And that emotion magnetizes us from purchasing that particular product. Next slide, please. Another example, I think. Again, uh, ito, ito sad reality. No? Si Skype, siyang nauna sa, sa video calling. But right now, napag-iwanan siya ni Zoom at ni House Party sa US. Of course, if you're not using mga millennials, use House Party. Pero sa Asia, Zoom. So, napag-iwanan si Skype. No? The emotion, yung emotions nung uh, um, user-friendly, easy to use. Um, I mean, um, is was provided by Zoom and House Party. And napag-iwanan si Skype na provides a complicated way of uh, you know allowing you to gather and meet with each other. Sayang yung opportunity but Zoom and House Party was were able to uh, provide that particular uh, access, no, user friendliness. That's why they are reaping the benefits. So that, those are old emotions, no? Na yung technology we just invented but we again connect to that old emotions that humans have. Next slide please. Number nine, I love this one. Trust and tension create forward motion. Trust and tension create forward motion. Uh, trust is when your clients or your customer trust your brand, your company, because of the products that you're providing them. And tension is created when you saw that they have another problem and you try to innovate your uh, long-standing product to cater to that uh, developing problem that they are experiencing. 
And that is trust and tension. So whenever there's a problem, a marketer, a true marketer creates a solution to the point of uh, destroying uh, the current products or services that they are offering. And because yung customer mo trusted you, oh, bakit niya binabago yung products at services niya? And that is the tension. But if your customer trusts you that much, they will, uh, you know, they uh, or buy your products and services because of the trust. All they have fear that it's failure. Uh, but again, it's the only way to move. No? So that you use the trust of your target market or your customers. And when you identify uh, a, a problem or a pain point that they have, you, you innovate your product. And of course, there's a tension that is created because some of your customers love your former product. But again, they don't know that you're offering. Para Xbox lang. You know, there or other uh, video uh, video games uh, platform. No? No? Uh, it continues to evolve. And then, parang yung mga dating uh, in love na sa former product, ay nilang binago mo yung product nila. But that's the only way to move forward. And that's one thing that we as marketers must keep in mind. That trust and tension create forward motion or progress. Next slide, please. So again, um, uh, since we cannot do, I'm, a, I'm one of the business that I have is uh, um, to be an, a MICE organizer, events organizer. I usually do a lot like uh, conferences and exhibitions, but right now we cannot do it physically. So we're doing it online. So these are some of the samples that we have done lately. Next slide, please. Of course, we're used to having a, an association meeting or a board meeting in a, in a restaurant, in a hotel. But right now, we're doing it digitally. It, there's tension or there's, uh, you know, we trust each other, the technology we trust. But of course, lately, Zoom, there's a, a news that there's a data problem, yeah, data privacy problem. But there is that tension to continue we need to continue using that particular product and then zoom hopefully adjust to it and provide the necessary actions to solve those problems that was raised against him or against it next slide please of course we're used to uh, paying in cash right now we're doing it cashless uh, contactless because it's what the times signs of the time and there's tension to it no no uh, we parang lately meron nga pay my uh, scams uh, na napabalita but there's tension to it but that's the only way to move forward we're experiencing a fast digital transformation everywhere in our country we're well acquainted with the digital and that's the that that is what this pandemic brought to us and you know what? We're moving forward despite this current situation. Next slide, please. Last but not the least, marketing is powerful when it sells product to someone who discovers more joy and productivity because he bought it. So, yun lang yun, di ba? The best reward of a marketer is when someone uh, bought your product and he is happy or she is happy and he or she is more productive because he or she bought your product. So, I mean, that's the reward, no? It's more than the money. It's deeper than money. Yun yung sinasabi dito nung is that coded. And there's a bonus. Next slide, please. The best marketers are farmers, not hunter. Uh, plant, tend, flow, fertilize, weed, repeat. It means it's about... Uh, relationship marketing so it's about you know establishing a connection with your uh, customers one-on-one -on -one, person to person it's the way to go because there's a lot of competition like millions of products na kagaya na sayo so how do you uh, separate yourself to them kahit naman mag differentiate ka eventually uh, the competition will catch up so the best way is to be a farmer 
uh, plant, tend, plow, fertilize, remove the weeds of your relationship to your customers. And that's, I think, uh, it reinforces what uh, we already believe what we should do as a marketer, as a company. Next slide, please. Yes, tama nga, sabi ni uh, Summer, relationship building. Talaga, yun talaga, it's the only way to, to, to go. So that ends my, um, if you have a question, I, I have time to answer your question. Of course, I'd like to invite you to join the Philippine Business and Entrepreneurs Network where we will feature you in, next slide, please. Yes, we will feature you in our business marketplace. It's our way of helping SMEs promote for free their products and services. Lalo na dun sa mga nagsimula mag-start ng business pero legit at legal naman, we will invite you or you can message us. We will promote your products and services by uh, allowing you to present to a wider audience para naman maka-generate kayo ng sales or ng new customers for free. Okay, so just message us. Thank you, Steve. Next slide, please. Yes, uh, tama, Dennis, no? Yun talaga yun eh, alalim. Pero simple yun eh, relationship marketing, pero ang galing ni Seth Godin eh, talagang napipilosophize niya yung marketing. Of course, next week, I will not, I'm giving, sabi ko nga sa inyo, uh, this show, Business Book Day, is for business book lovers who implements them, okay? Implements them. Um, um, so, we will be inviting guests, or you can volunteer to be one of our guest speakers. So next week, I invited Jay Habuneta, founder of the Yellow Boat of Hope Foundation, na kinilala ng Facebook, no? And he will share his favorite business book that's Make Time, How to Focus on What Matters Every Day. Jay is also into the startup business. And so meron siyang innovation uh, uh, business. And talagang, ano to, isa sa mga law dito in terms of... Uh, creating startup so we wanted to hear jay's appreciation on the particular business book that helped him no thank you boss treb salamat hopefully you can share your uh favorite business book rather than the mga wag lang nba books pwede rin ha yung kay phil knight na shoe dog if you if you had that treb uh hopefully we can invite you here or, or all of you who are listening hopefully you have that particular business book that inspired you and just message me and we will uh, create a schedule for you. Thank you, Jay. Uh, next slide, please. Of course, uh, follow me. Uh, sabi nga ni Summer, yung recap. Summer, you can um, uh, check it. It will be uh, posted at the YouTube. Of course, Business Book Day or the other pages. Or here in that, where what page are you listening right now? Sa Philippine Business Entrepreneurs Expo page ba? Or sa... X-Link page, it's there, you can replay it but if you want, you can watch it sa YouTube of course, kung gusto mo lang podcast uh, I have I am, I am in Anchor uh, so you can listen to me so thank you Miss Nida, thank you Rap, thank you Jay uh, Jay Rome, uh, thank you Dennis, um, I mean you are the reason, we are the reason, thank you uh, of course, Jan Francis who I always communicate kasi pares kami sa tourism industry, salamat for listening, uh, yeah Hopefully, it's a personal MBA. But at the same time, more than an MBA, we're entrepreneurs, we're marketers. Sabi nga ni, ang pabilito kong tra kasi is Peter Drucker. Sabi ni Peter Drucker, there are two things that are important in business. That is marketing and innovation. So I'm a Peter Drucker fan. So I believe in Peter Drucker. And seeing the world around us, it's marketing makes the world go round. Okay? So thank you, uh, Mayan. And thank you, Summer. Thank you, guys. I love you all. Again, Aid Mubarak to our Muslim brothers. Uh, I will leave you with this, and I always say it in all the episodes. A business book a week keeps your performance at peak. Stay positive. Let's create solutions to our clients and change the world, sabi nga ni Seth Godin. Through marketing, let us change the world. Thank you, guys, and bye-bye. See you again. Bye.